You can head out here. There's a few more pickups here before we go ahead and head out, but we can go ahead and stop real fast and grab these. It's another 18 shots. It's totally worth it. There's Kendra trying to get back on the shuttle. Shoot her ass, Isaac. Do something. Oh my god. Oh! The fuck is that thing? Ugh. Ooh! And we get that standard sound, somebody just died. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about her taking the marker off the planet. I think we've got bigger things to worry about right now. Alright guys, this is it. The full boss, final boss of the game, and the leader of all the necromorphs. This is the hive mind. This is what's caused all our problems, and this is how we're going to put an end to it. Alright, here's what you want to do. Shit yells at you, you shoot it in the face. Shoot it three or four times in each of these pus-filled sacks on its face. And it's going to start slapping the ground. Basically, just keep shooting at it. Three or four shots in each of these things. You don't want to take out any one of them yet. Yeah, let them keep yelling at you. That's nice. That's good for you. Basically, you're just going to keep going after these things, and bam! Eventually, you'll pop one. That'll get him pissed at you. You don't want to do that too early. Now he's going to start trying to slap the ground with these tentacles he's got. Run left and right. to be able to avoid that. Wait for him to hold his head still. You want to start on the left side, by the way, when you're cutting off these tentacles. And work your way around to the right, because the ones on the right are going to be easier to hit in a minute. But I, oh, shit! Oh, fuck, he's got us, man. He's got us by the leg, like a fucking drag tentacle. Oh, shit! Alright, most of will give up here, but you can actually keep fighting. You can actually uh, aim while you're upside down. And you gotta, you got to take out his fucking pus sacks here, which is why I say... Get a couple shots on the right ones before... God damn it, I'm, I'm all in the wrong places. This is bad for me. I'm all in the wrong places, guys. Oh shit, where is he? Oh, dude, and he keeps crunching you. And I don't know if that does damage or if it's just supposed to freak you out, but... There's one. He's only got one left, man. He's only got one left. And he's bringing him closer to you. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna start shooting. Oh, this is not good. I've never seen what happens if he gets you here. I don't want to see it now. There, we got him. That's why I say weaken those two on the right, but don't destroy them. You want to leave those two to be the ones that you finish him off with. Now he's got nothing left on his face. He's going to take a whole new strategy. Alright. See these things inside him? Go after that shit. Just light him up. Don't don't bother aiming. Just aim right in the middle of it. Well, don't. We'll do aim, but you don't have to be particularly precise. Alright. And then what he's going to do is he's going to start waving these tentacles around. You want to run one, one, one direction. And once he hits, you turn around and run back the other direction. And he'll miss you both times. Then you wait to do it again. Run left, and then you run right. If you want to, you can grab one of these cans here. Shoot it in there. It can be hard to get them to land in there, but if it does, you can take out one or two of the things. It can be pretty effective if you do it right. You gotta arc them a little bit, though, so aim a little higher than you think you need to. Go left, and run right. Go back to the left again. And back to the right. Dodge that second tentacle. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these and see if I can launch it in there. Aim high. Ooh, yeah. I did a little bit of damage to him, I think. They saw him flinch a little bit when it hit him. Alright, what's next? Gonna move back to the left. Move back to the right. Stay the hell out of his way. If one of those things hits you, it'll knock you on your ass, do quite a bit of damage. And if you're down below, like, five bars or something like that, I think it just kills you. It's a pretty effective attack on his part. Damn it, not that. Alright, he's only got one of those things left in there. He can't... You can't hit it while it's covered up with these, with these uh, little ribs he's got. Even if you can see it really easily, it's still covered up, technically. Like, the game won't let you shoot through the little cracks in there. So you're gonna have to wait. Alright, here I'm just gonna run and immediately go back left, because I want to grab this, see if I can use it to finish him off. Boom! That was nice and close. Oh, damn it, where is it? Oh, come on, I want to finish him off right now. Dude, he's shooting he's shooting pregnants out at us, that's what that sound just was. What you're gonna wanna do is uh <laughs> kill him, basically. If at all possible. See the way that they're they're gonna bust, it's pretty much guaranteed that they're gonna bust open. So you wanna have some stasis ready and you wanna be able to move left and then move right. He's gonna kill some of his own guys when he chops the ground like that. 
So as long as you keep moving left and right while you're fighting these guys, you should be fine. And he, he'll probably do more damage to his own guys than to you. Just do not get in the way of those little bastards. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. As soon as I fucking say that, he's going after me. Did I get him? I finished him off. Dude, I shot him right before those little bastards got me, and I popped his last pus sack inside his chest. Whoa, watch out now. And he's done. He's dead. Look at him, we got his ass. Oh shit. Oh, damn it! Dude. Let's get the hell out of here. So I got a chance. <laughs> Floating ammo. I think that's usually there. Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Woo! Damn. Oh, fuck. The door. Dude, open the damn door. Seriously, man? Well, that was lucky. Alright. <laughs> not sure. Not really sure what happens there. But alright, we're leaving the marker behind. She barely. She had that thing ready to load onto the shuttle, and she just didn't have quite enough time to get in. But we killed the hive mine. We can get the hell out of here now. Whew, man, we're going through some debris, too. Shit's nasty. Look at how far away from the planet we are. Now, here's what happens. That big chunk of rock that they pulled away from the planet when they were mining? Gravity tethers broke. Shit falls all the way back down to the planet and essentially destroys the planet. Thus destroying the hive mind and the necromorph infection. As far as we know, it's gone. And I haven't heard anything about sequels, so... We can pretty well assume it's gone. Oh, man, look at this. He's taking his helmet off, man! He's pulling a Master Chief! Except we can actually get to see his face. There he is, Isaac Clark. Haven't seen him the whole game. Oh, look at him, man. He just found out that Nicole's dead. Everyone he was working with is now dead. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm so at least he knows what's the, what the truth is now. He's not being influenced by the marker anymore. <sighs> Maybe he can finally find some peace. Get away from this inf infernal planet. This infested place. Ooh! That's a good little scare the first time I saw it. But that is it! <coughs> Woo! Man, I can't believe it. I can't believe this LP is over already. That was... Awesome! I'm so glad I did that game. I love this game. I just had a blast LPing it, too. I gotta tell you guys that this has been a really fun LP to do. And, uh... Alright, so let me review what we accomplished here real fast. We beat the whole game on Impossible. That gives us the epic Tier 3 Engineer achievement worth 150 gamer points. That's a nice one. And we also got the, the There's Always Ping. We also got whatever achievement gets you 30 shots with the Plasma Cutter. We got that one. We got the achievement for fully, fully upgrading a single weapon. We picked that one up when we finished off the Plasma Cutter. We also got the one gun achievement for beating the entire game with just the plasma cutter. And we probably picked up one or two other ones that I'm not... Oh yeah, and you get one achievement for beating each chapter too, so we got all of those as well. So, if you played through exactly as I just did, you'd, you'd get a well, like, somewhere around like a third of the achievements for the game. Now, a lot of them are associated with other weapons and that sort of thing, so you can't get them with the one gun achievement at the same time, but, yeah, it works fine. Anyway, you don't actually have to watch the credits. So let's go ahead and hit, uh, I think it's B. Yeah, hit B to skip the credits here. And you see this shit changes here, and I don't actually know what this says. But it's recording it right now, so I'm gonna go back and translate it later. <laughs> and I'll put an annotation as what it says. Alright, and here's what we get for beating the game. This is the military suit gets unlocked, which is that white suit I showed you while we were on the Valor. We get that, we, we get that uh, unlocked in, this, in the store, all we have to do is buy it. Backstory logs, that's just some more, like, like, it, like it sounds like, backstory. We got 50,000 credits, that's gonna be stuck in our inventory. And we've got 10 power nodes. That's the biggest That's the biggest reward right there, is the 10 power nodes. Because you can basically upgrade a whole gun with that. And we also up unlocked, unlocked Impossible Mode if we didn't already have it. Now, here's the thing. We save a game here. This is now a completed save file. I'm going to go down to chapter... Uh, well, geez, I have a lot of saves, don't I? I'm going to save this on chapter 6. Just so I can keep it separate from my other completed games. I'm going to have to look and see how fast we actually beat the game. Once we get back to the main title screen, yeah, let's see. I'm going to load. I'm going to look and see how long it takes us to beat the game. Oh wow, I beat, I beat the game on Impossible in 7 hours, 44 minutes, and 12 seconds. Nice, nicely done. Alright, now here's what's going to happen. If we go back in and we load save 6, that's going to be a, a cleared game on Impossible. And basically it's going to put us back in at the beginning of the game, with a level 5 suit, all those credits, all the power nodes, everything else. And if you want to, you can play through the whole game again, and just go through and play with all the different kinds of guns, you'll have lots of money to spend on power nodes and whatever else. Like, I could go back in right now and upgrade, like, one or maybe two other guns right all the way, 
to like make them very useful from the very beginning and play through the game with like three or four guns and just have have a whole blast, you know. So beating the game really rewards you with a lot. But uh, you have to play through on the same difficulty again. You can't change difficulties on each playthrough. So this is a cleared game that I can play through again on Impossible, but I can't play through on anything else. All right, well. We're back where we started at the main title screen, so I don't have a whole lot else to uh, add to this. I'm glad the final fight went nice and smoothly there. We uh, got through without even getting smacked. Very nice. So, with the LP finished, I guess there's nothing else for me to say except for thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next LP. You can't touch this. Touch this. You can't touch this.